The year is 1997, my friends. The Bulls, Pacers, NBA National Championship. Game seven, nine seconds left. Momentum kicks in. How does it kick in? How can you use it to kick ass, take names in your own life? Let's find out. Okay, so I know I'm a little late to the party, but I just finally got through The Last Dance little show some may or may not have heard about it exploded right when COVID hit in march it just happened to be good, great timing where all sports went away and it was basically the legacy of the bulls and their reign with a big focus on michael jordan how they got there going up until their last dance the last game that they played unbelievable documentary i highly recommend people see it if they have it in this documentary going back to this game this is the one point that I, I mean, there was a lot of momentum going back and forth. Um, and, and it really showed in sports, as I've said before, it's there in basketball, especially when there's just one tiny little moment that shifts things. And in this particular instance, game seven, Bulls Pacers, huge rivals. I'm talking like as, as big as they get rivals. And they both wanted it so bad. Tie game. And the jump ball, nine seconds left. Who's it going to? Everybody, you know, they're doing these interviews with both players on both sides, and both were basically saying the way things were going, we knew whoever got that jump ball was going to win the game. Sure enough, it's up. It's up. Who's got it? Boom. It goes to the Bulls. Sure enough, momentum switched. Bulls felt that confidence. They got a bucket. They went on, they won the game, and it was just one of those moments where you, there's no disputing that universal principle of momentum, which is everything that I'm about, everything I'm constantly trying to show you people, how to harness, how to use. It's one of those things you can't see, feel, hear, or touch, but we all know it's there. It's in sports, it's in business, it's in, in your life. Like anything you start doing, when you start to build that momentum, you start to improve. And then there's the negative momentum where it goes the opposite way. So. I want to leave you with just thinking about in your life one thing in particular that you're building negative momentum in. Let's, let's look at one of the habits that you have or one of the cores, right? We'll start with one of the cores, physical health, relationships, career and finances, uh, emotional health and giving back, mindset. Which one of these cores do you feel just right off the top of your head do you, do you initially go, I'm kind of weakened, and then let's get, look at one specific habit that you know that you could probably improve and let's change that momentum. It's probably building against you. It's gonna compound, it's forming negative momentum in your life and, and gonna cause you to be that person you don't wanna be. Remember the equation of life, your repeated actions, your, excuse me, your belief system plus your repeated actions plus time equals who you will become. So we gotta switch that. We gotta switch that belief system and the actions that are tied to it and then it's gonna compound, time's gonna do its thing and that's who you are. So think of one habit, what do you want to change? Let's report back next week. I want you to work on it every single day. Hold yourself accountable. Put an alarm in your phone if it's around a certain time. Let's say it's not flossing, just as a simple example. Let's say it's not looking people in the eye for the relationship core. Let's say it's um, having negative thoughts constantly going through your head for the mindset core and thought stopping. Put a little rubber band on. Just do try to figure out how to take that step every day this week, even if it's small. And then at the end of the week, I want you to report back. Let me know how you're doing. We're going to build that positive momentum. Go Bulls! The 1998 NBA Playoffs. Tonight, it's the Indiana Pacers versus the Chicago Bulls. 